Last week, Dana Rache of Indianapolis won $100,000 in the Hoosier Lottery's free and easy promotion. You could be next. This week's Lotto Cash jackpot is worth $1 million, and tonight's Lotto America drawing will be for an estimated $6 million. From Indianapolis, it's time to play Who's Your Millionaire? Now, here are your host and hostess, Mark Patrick and Barbara Hobbs. Hello, Indiana. Thank you, studio audience. Barbara, what a great time we had last week at the Indiana State Fair. Oh, we sure did. It was a wonderful crowd. And this Labor Day weekend, we hope to make somebody here a millionaire. All right, we hope to celebrate with a millionaire on our show. So, Tony Lamont, we need six contestants for tonight's show. Who are they? Thanks, Mark. Player number one, Ron Simons of Batesville, is the father of two and owner of Simons Company. With his winnings, Ron says he and his wife will go back to school and take a trip to England. Ron purchased his lucky ticket at USA Video in Batesville. Player number two, Doug Minnick of Lafayette, is a production team leader at Subaru Isuzu Automotive Plant. Doug says he's an avid Purdue fan who calls coach Gene Cady to give him a hard time about the Boilermakers. Doug bought his entry ticket at Village Pantry on Brady Lane in Lafayette. Player number three, Jack Ashby of Pendleton, is the father of four and the owner of Ashby and Company. Jack and his wife were out celebrating her birthday the night his name was drawn. When he heard the good news, Jack says he promised his wife the world. Jack purchased his winning ticket at Village Pantry in Anderson. Player number four, Karen Beasley of Columbus, is a library science teacher at Brown County High School. Karen says she became a sticky mess when she found out she'd be on our show. That's because she was canning peaches and the contents went everywhere when she celebrated. Karen's lucky ticket was purchased at Johnson Interstate Shell in Columbus. Player number five, Florence Norton of Rochdale, is a homemaker and mother of two. Florence says a million dollars would come in very handy since she has 440 farm animals to feed and nine grandchildren to spoil. Florence bought her TV entry ticket at Griffin's Grocery in Rochdale. And player number six, Paula Malott of Marion, is a secretary at the law office of Martin Lake. If she wins a little, Paula plans to remodel her home and pay some bills. But if she wins big, she'll buy a new home and a new car. Paula purchased her lucky entry at Irma's Pantry in Marion. Thank you, Tony. It's time to play Who's Your Millionaire? Each of our contestants will have three number selections worth $1,000 to $10,000. Our top two cash prize winners advance to the playoff round, and the winner of that round will go to our millionaire board. There are two bonus prizes on the board that do not count toward your cash prize total. Ron Simons of Batesville, welcome to the show. Thank you. It's good to be here. And you quickly have grabbed the honor of most colorful tie ever on Who's Your Millionaire? <laughs> Whip that baby out. Look beautiful. at that. <laughs> <laughs> what I kind of fish is that, Ron? Do we I, know? Uh, I believe it's a salmon. It was given to me by a good friend of mine, and uh, we think it's the only tie in the world like this. We, we feel like everybody... <laughs> and we hope so, yeah. <laughs> quite frankly. We think well, everybody else threw theirs away the day after Christmas. So. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> and you, when did you get that, Christmas? No, no. It was oh, good. good. It didn't ruin a holiday. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> All right, good luck. First round selection, which number would you like? Number 21, please. All right, let's give Ron number 21. 2,000, that's all right. Hi, Doug. Hi. You're a Purdue fan? Yes, sir, I am. How many Purdue fans in the audience today and among the contestants? <laughs> all right, relatively safe then, Doug. <laughs> Good luck on that first pick. Which number would you like? Uh, number 22, please. Okay, 22 for Doug starts him off with $2,000. All right, it's a consistent bunch. Jack? Once you get higher than that $2,000, start stuff off. Which one would you like? Number nine. All right, number nine. $10,000, I guess that'll do it. One of the rare standing ovations from our audience, Jack. Uh, any reason why you took nine? Uh, my brother-in-law suggested that number to me. <laughs> That's pretty unusual. You get good advice from an in-law like that. All right. Hi, Karen. Hi. I was fine till he, till Jack just did that. Jack took all your numbers, didn't he, guys? Un well, hey, big money still up there. Which one would you like? Number 12. Number 12. We often have somebody start with low numbers and go to our millionaire round. $8,000, Karen. That's terrific. Great. Hi, Florence. Hi. Now, Florence has a sheet with her numbers written on it. You were afraid these guys were going to cheat off of them. I think it's fairly obvious Jack did. Looks like a donut. 
Cover that up. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. You know, school has started here, and we have to practice our safe record keeping, right, Florence? Yeah. All right, which number would you like? 23. All right, and that's about your fourth choice, isn't it? No. All right, 23. $1,000, okay. Paula, a lot of action in front of you today, huh? Yeah. Y'all set? Ready. All right, which number would you like? Number 18. Okay, number 18 for Paula Malad of Marion. The instant tickets, all right, it's our first bonus prize. Tony, tell me what she's won. You'll be playing and winning for the next 365 days because you've won 1,000 lottery tickets a month for the next year. You might win a little or you might win a lot. No matter how much you win, you'll enjoy playing all the new instant lottery games in the coming year. Congratulations from the Hoosier Lottery. See? <laughs> how about that? How about that? And how often do you usually play? The instant mm -hmm. tickets? Mm, about every other week. <laughs> really? That often? Yeah. Well, you'll play a little more often now, I guess. Yeah, huh? a little more. All right. Which number would you like? Seven dollars selected for the first round. Number 11. Okay. See what 11 brings, Paul. Five thousand dollars! Oh. Tony, we've had some kind of first round. Why don't you recap it for us? Thanks, Mark. Paula Malott of Marion has the tickets in $5,000. Karen Beasley of Columbus has $8,000. And Jack Ashby is in the lead with $10,000. Kind of anxious to talk to this group more. We're going to do it with round two and three comes your way in just a couple of minutes. Hopefully, we're going to have a Hoosier Millionaire tonight. Maybe. Welcome back to Hoosier Millionaire. Our game is played under the supervision of the Hoosier Lottery and the independent accounting firm of Deloitte and Touche. For rounds two and three of our game, we begin with a contestant with the lowest dollar amount and continue upward. Florence Norton, that is you, $1,000 from Rochdale, Indiana. You got a big farm out there. Yeah. How many animals did you say you had? About 440. Wow. <laughs> what kind they are they? A lot. Well, we've got Holstein dairy cows and hogs. Wow. Then how much would that amount of cattle and pigs eat? A lot. <laughs> very exact knowledge of how much they're eating. They already pay for it. It's a lot. Yeah. So you could win a lot of feed money here today, yeah, huh? sure can. Now, you had a lot of people I know you wanted to say hi to. Yeah, I need to say hi to my son, Steve, who's homesick, and everybody at Dr. Slichter's office and everybody at Dr. Howell's office. All right. Well, good luck to you today. $1,000 so far. You can win some big money here. Which number would you like? Eight. All right, number eight for Florence, who's got nine grandchildren. Three thousand dollars. There's a good choice. This is Ron Simons of Baseville. Now, Ron, we already saw that tie, and we were talking with your son Sam earlier. Yes. And he was telling me that you felt a little bit left out because you were the only family member whose name didn't begin with S. That's right. <laughs> who Who are your family members? Uh, my wife, Sally. I have a daughter, Sarah, who's 13, and, of course, Sam, who's 8. Sally, Sarah, and Sam. Right. Then comes Ron. Right. Yeah. Pretty logical. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you remodel? Yes, I do. Remodel homes in Batesville. Well, that's terrific. Well, yeah. good luck to you. Got a plug Thank in you. there. Yes. So, I'd this like, will... Could, go, could I say hi? Hup, 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 go ahead. Hup, hup. Could I say hi to everybody in Batesville? They have just been great the last couple of weeks, and just it's a neat place to live, and everybody's really supported me. No, I'm sorry, we don't have time. Oh, but, okay. uh, of course you can. Yeah, Batesville is a great place. I love yeah. stopping down there. Good luck to you here. Thank you. $2,000. Why don't you win on this old Who's Your Millionaire here tonight? Which right. number would you like? Uh, number 19, please. All right, number 19 for Ron. $3,000. It's Doug Minnick of Lafayette, $2,000 so far. Now, we got on Ron about his tie, and you've got the Purdue tie clip going there, don't you, Doug? Yes, I do. You're big Boiler Baker back. You better believe it. I think Gene Kay's one of the greatest living Americans. <laughs> <laughs> He's not just a coach, oh no. He's a great living American, yeah. and thank goodness he is. Now, he's a buddy of yours? Well, I call him on the radio. Uh, he's oh, got a radio do. talk show. So you call him up with questions. Mm -hmm. And does he know you enough to say, oh, hello, Doug? Yes, he does, as a matter of fact. <laughs> And I bet he's thrilled to hear from yeah, you. Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> Not always. Which number would you like uh, for round two? I think I'll try number 27 this time. 27, one of the great American numbers we have to choose from, Barbara. A trip! No All right. All right. Tony Doug's going to go somewhere. Get 
ready for some fun in the sun because you've won a one-week vacation for two at the beautiful Sheraton Waikiki Hotel in Honolulu, Hawaii. Your trip includes a tour of the highlights of the island of Oahu and exciting events like the Luau at Paradise Cove. We've made lots of friends with Who's Your Millionaire visited Hawaii, so tell them you're from Indiana and you'll get the royal treatment and you'll be staying at our favorite Hawaiian hotel, the Sheraton Waikiki. Congratulations from the Who's Your Lottery. There you go, Doug. That is going to be a terrific trip. You and Coach Katie are going to have such a fun time. All right. I might need to talk to my wife about that. Well, she'll uh, understand, um, since he's one of the great living Americans. You You've got to take him. Now, you still have a dollar selection for round two. What do you take? Uh, number 16, please. Okay, 16 for Douglas. Z adds to the Purdue alumni total. $6,000. Good choice. Paula, you did extremely well. $5,000 in the instant tickets, and you've got a couple of uh, Cocker Spaniels that are pretty close to your heart, huh? Yes, I do. What are their names? Muffin and Razzle. You gotta love dog names, don't you? They just <laughs> never make sense to anybody but the owners. That's great. And have you had a great week? I had a great week. All right, well, you're doing extremely well here tonight. Which number would you like for your second round? Number seven. All right, number seven. Paula Malott of Marion. <laughs> Now, Karen Beasley, $8,000 mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. far. And I've got to admit, when I saw that you were a library science teacher at Brown County High School, I was kind of picturing, you know, the hair in a tight bun, and you got that. <laughs> but I was kind of picturing maybe somebody with their nose in a book, and you just look fantastic. It's great to, to see you just crash that stereotype of mine. Thank you. I'd like to think I break that mold. Well, you look terrific. You've got $8,000, so you look terrific on the board as well. Which number would you like for your second round choice? Well, I don't know. I had some good choices, but let's try 17. So okay. We'll no particular reason for 17 for Karen. $4,000. Good job. Jack, are you through yawning yet? Yes, sir. You know, Jack, during the break, uh, he wins $10,000, and he just uh, you pretty much could care less. Jack, uh, <laughs> I'm not sure we've ever had anybody with that attitude on the show. A little bit nervous, Mark. Well, I, don't be nervous. I mean, you're just doing really well. You're making everybody else nervous by pulling these big numbers off the board, Jack. Yes. You're from Pendleton. Is, I'm from is Pendleton. A lot of public support, I'm sure, for you this week. Yes, sir, there is. All right. Well, we're, I know they're pulling for you. We are, too. Keep those big money selections up. What would you like for round two? Number five. All right. Jack wants number five. $2,000. All right. Good choice. Now, round three is next, but first, here's Barbara Hobbs with the name of our fourth free and easy winner. Barbara? Thanks, Mark. Tonight we announce our fourth $100,000 winner in the Hoosier Lottery's free and easy promotion. If you would like to win, just send six non-winning current Hoosier Lottery instant tickets to Free and Easy, P.O. Box 6143, Indianapolis, Indiana, 46206. 6143. Last week's winner was Dana Rissay of Indianapolis. Dana is a technician at a local hospital. This week we had 572,000 free and easy entries. And tonight's $100,000 winner is Sophie Miller of South Bend. Congratulations to Sophie Miller of South Bend. And remember, through September 7th, whenever you purchase five instant tickets, you'll receive a six ticket free. See your favorite lottery retailer for details. Back to you, Mark. Thank you, Barbara. Now, before we play round three, here's Tony with a recap. Thanks, Mark. Doug has the trip in $8,000. Paula has the tickets in $10,000. And Karen and Jack are tied with the lead with $12,000. Right, you have $4,000. This is your third round pick. Jump back in it. Which one would you like? 29. 29. Number 29 for Florence. $1,000. Doggone it, that's not going to be enough. But we sure had a lot of fun with you. $5,000. Say hi to everybody back home for us, okay? Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. All right, Ron, $5,000 is where you stand now with your last pick, which would it be? Number 13. All right, come on, get some big money up there. Lucky 13. No! All right! That gives you $14,000. Hang on. Doug, the trip, $8,000. Which number will it be? Number four. Number four for Doug's last pick. 
thousand dollars that won't be enough but doug what a great day you won nine thousand dollars the trip our best to coach katie and purdue thanks for being on thanks. the program with us tonight okay paula you have ten thousand dollars you're right in the thick of it which one number 15. 15 to finish off her selections here tonight two thousand dollars that gives you twelve thousand dollars that means Jack and Karen will pass you when they take their picks, but you did awfully well with the instant tickets and 12 grand. Thanks very much for Thank being you. on the show. Jack, that 12,000 is what you have now on your third round pick. Number two. All right, come on, Jack. $1,000, that gives you $13,000, you're still in it. Ron leads the way with 14, but Karen, you have 12 and your final selection is now. Uh, number 25. 25 for Karen. $2,000. That gives you $14,000 to tie you with Ron and Jack. We're going to have to say goodbye to you, but a terrific day. $13,000. Congratulations. Now, time for our bonus round. Ron and Karen, both with $14,000. Ron, your bonus pick, which one will it be? Number three. All right, no hesitation for our Batesville resident. $1,000. Okay, that gives you fifteen dollars Karen? You need that to tie. $2,000 puts you in our millionaire round. Which number? I don't think I can speak. Okay, well then we'll ask one of the contestants. It's, it's never happened to me before. I'll get it. <laughs> um, 14. 14. All right. $1,000 are tied. We're going into overtime. Ron, this is your last chance to go together. <laughs> Which number would you like? I ran out of numbers. <laughs> well, there's some up there. Number 20. All right, let's see how it treats him. $3,000, that gets you $18,000. $3,000 to tie, $4,000 sends you into the millionaire round. Karen? Um, 24. All right, she needs four grand to win. Stay with us. It's time to find out if Karen Beasley of Columbus is going to become our next Who's Your Millionaire? Okay, Karen, on our board, we have a stop symbol and $3 amounts valued at $100,000, $200,000, and $1 million. Got up to three chances to find that million-dollar amount on our board to become the next Who's Your Millionaire. The game ends whenever you reveal that non-winning symbol. Now, there's a bunch of people, especially at Brown County High School, you didn't get to say hi to. Oh, those kids at Brown County High School and the faculty and staff, wonderful people there. I'm sure they're probably very excited right now. And they're they all going to be asking you for money. Yeah, and they, you've they got family plans. and friends with you here. Who's with you here? Oh, we've got the McCarts. And then there's my husband, Lyman Killer Bees and our son Brent and at the far end is our daughter Kim and then we have one of the three grandbabies, baby Jess. Great, well listen, we'll finish off the rest of the phone book in a little while. <laughs> one, two, three, or four for one million dollars. Why don't you get it on the first pick? Number four. All right, number four. Oh, Karen, the stop sign has started out. But we want to give you $25,000 for a consolation prize in addition to what you won in the first round. You had a terrific night. Congratulations. Thank Thanks you very so much. much. All right. Barbara, why don't you tell us where that million dollar amount was? Number one had the $100,000. There it was behind number two tonight. All right. Up in just a few minutes, we're going to have tonight's $1 million lotto cash drawing. And when we come back, we're going to tell you who's on our September 14th show. So stay with us. Welcome back to Who's Your Millionaire? Tony, we're going to have a show on September 14th that needs six contestants. Who are they? Joining us on Who's Your Millionaire will be Lisa B. Shanklin, Indianapolis, Alfred Rowland, New Whiteland, Marjorie Hayden, Winnemac, T.J. Harkins, Auburn, Betty Carnahan, Lafayette, and David L. Green Sr., Owensboro. Now remember, you only got a few more weeks to play and win the free and easy game here from the Hoosier Lottery. Now, this is uh, Sam Simons, and your dad did pretty well on the show, Sam, and I know there's, you've been so good in the audience today, we wanted to bring you on because you're the best audience person we've ever had, and what do you have to say? Thanks, Mark. Good night, everybody.
Barbara's clothing furnished by Putting on the Ritz. Men's clothing by Arnold's Big School. Plants by Nature's Way. You grew up with those lovable characters, Rocky and Bullwinkle. Relive your childhood memories with the Bullwinkle 30th Anniversary Special. Tonight at 8, followed by the Cubs versus the Dodgers. Now stay tuned for a special preview of Indiana Sports Tonight, next.